The vlog is back. Let me, let me scooch in a little bit. Starting in just a few hours, I'm gonna be doing something absolutely awesome. But uh, it's, it's a little bit complicated. So let's go back to March 2018, two months ago, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, to explain. wanted to go to Cuba, but unfortunately I'm a college student with not that much money to spare. Some trips to Cuba cost two, three, four thousand dollars, but I only have five hundred. But I'm not going to let my limited funds stop me. I'm going to try to do the entire trip. The flight, the hotels, the transportation, the food, the water, everything. Total for five hundred dollars or less. I'm going to begin on May 21st in Madison, Wisconsin at my house. I'm going to take a $1 bus ride to Chicago. I'll take the train to my grandma's house and then the next morning I'll get up early and get on a flight to Cuba. Round trip $242. Now to make it $242 I'm going to have to take this crazy detour. Instead of going directly to Cuba I'm going to have to go through Panama City which is like twice as far and then backtrack to Havana but that's all the cut costs. Once I get to Cuba, I'll sleep on a bunk bed in a room with six other people for $8 a night. When I said I'm gonna cut costs at every opportunity, I meant it. The day after, May 22nd, I'll spend the full day just exploring Havana. Then the day after, I'm going to take what's called the Hershey train. It's this train that's really cheap and it goes like 90 miles in over five hours. But that will take me from Havana to Matanzas, Cuba, and from there I'll take a short bus ride to Varadero for the night. After seeing the cheapest Airbnb I can find in Varadero, I will spend the next day soaking up the beach. I'll return back to Havana that evening, and then the next morning I'll head out to Viñales. Vinales is this beautiful rural mountain town with lots of cool hiking opportunities in the middle of nowhere. I'll spend the night in a $10 Airbnb, come back to Havana the next day, and then the morning after, fly back. So uh, that's how it's done. That's how you spend an entire week in Cuba for under $500. Pretty damn cool, right? I'm so excited for this trip. Um, but there's just a tad more I need to explain. So when you price it all out and factor in the $246 I spent on airfare, all the cost of the buses I'll be taking, and the cost of the places to stay, that comes out to a grand total of $355.50 that I've already spent. So that, that leaves me with $144.50 to spend. So yeah, I have $144.50 in cash to spend on food, water, taxis, and additional public transportation on the trip. I think I can do it. I'm gonna take the dogs on a quick trip to the dog park before I leave for Chicago. to the dog park rooms. Did you, Veda? Did you like it? All right, time to go. Gotta catch my bus to Chicago. Gotta say goodbye to the dogs. Hi, Veda. I'm gonna miss you so much. And I am off. I will be back at this exact same spot eight days later with only $500 less in my pocket. All right, Dad, thanks for the ride. I will see you in eight days. Have a good time, buddy. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Thanks. And try to reach my I'm the only one on the bus. Why do you keep me? It was a long bus ride, but I finally made it to Chicago. Bus, I was dying. 
as was the sound by do you paint me through and cover me with tools where are we going so before my flight at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning I'm gonna spend the night here in a suburb of Chicago called Brookfield. The place I'm staying tonight is my grandma's apartment. And uh, to get there, I have to take a train. What are we going to do? How are you guys? Oh. Grandma, thank you so much for this delicious pot roast. Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Lou. It is delicious. Thank you. And that's it for today's vlog. Of my $144.50 that I have remaining to spend, I've only spent $5.50, and that was for the train ticket from Chicago to Brookfield. I haven't even bought any food yet. So I'm, I'm still really good on the budget situation. Gonna go to sleep tonight. Tomorrow night, I'll be in Cuba.